Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, and Meghan Markle were right in step when they appeared together during the Platinum Jubilee, an expert has claimed. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle reunited with the royal family in public for the first time since Meg's at the service of Thanksgiving during the Platinum Jubilee. Body language expert Elaine Swan pointed out how the Duchess of Sussex and Kate were in step with each other. Speaking to Us Weekly's Royally Us, Ms. Swan said, I think it is, healing the rift. I still saw communication, in my opinion, because if you think about Jubilee's past. I was looking at what the women were wearing and if you notice Kate and Meghan in the last Jubilee, they had jewel tones as if that was the memo of the day. This time it seems as if a memo was sent out and the family had a particular look. Meghan and Kate were still in step with that memo for the attire of the day. There's a lot more going on behind the scenes than we think. It comes as it was a magnificent seven who surrounded the Queen at the Jubilee finale, the core members of the royal family who are shaping the monarchy. Future King the Prince of Wales, and his wife the Duchess of Cornwall, who was publicly backed this year by the monarch to one day use the title Queen, emerged with the head of state as she stepped onto the Buckingham Palace balcony. There too were the next in line, the Duke of Cambridge and Prince George. And the Duchess of Cambridge, like Camilla a future Queen consort, along with Princess Charlotte and Little Prince Louis. The siblings a double helping of spares to the heir. As the Queen, in her end of Jubilee written message, outlined her commitment to serve to the best of my ability supported by my family, it was to these seven she was referring. On hand and greatly depended on will also be the Princess Royal, the Earl and Countess of Wessex, and the Queen's cousins, who have devoted their lives to royal duty. These working royals joined the Queen for the Jubilee flypast on the first day of the celebrations. Since Prince Harry and Meghan Markle stepped down as senior royals and moved to the U.S. in 2020, there's been rumors of a rift between the couple and the rest of the royal family, including their former besties, Prince William and Kate Middleton. But, it seems the Fab Four's relationship might be on the mend, as Harry and Meghan reportedly offered the Cambridges an olive branch during their visit to the U.K. to mark the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations. To recap, last weekend's festivities marked Her Majesty's 70th year on the throne. But there was also another royal celebration in order, Lilibet Diana's first birthday on 4th of June. To mark the special occasion, Harry and Meghan are believed to have hosted a low-key birthday party for their daughter at their previous UK residence, Frogmore Cottage. According to The Sun, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex hosted an informal garden party at Frogmore Cottage, with picnic-style snacks, a birthday cake, balloons and party games. Attendees at the party included a long list of fellow royals, including Zara and Mike Tyndall and their three children, Mia, Lena, and Lucas, as well as Prince William and Kate Middleton. The Cambridge's invite to the birthday party was branded an olive branch by a royal insider who spoke to Page Six, although sadly the Duke and Duchess were unable to attend the event due to other Platinum Jubilee engagements. In fact, William, Kate and their eldest two children, eight-year-old Prince George and seven-year-old Princess Charlotte, were in Wales for the day on an official visit to Cardiff Castle. Were in Wales for.